Investigators in Monroe County are hoping new DNA technology can identify the man whose skeleton was found nearly two decades ago. It's called genealogical DNA and is used to solve cold cases and catch serial killers. Fox 59's Max Lewis shows us how it could bring closure to this case. It was May 2004 when some turkey hunters found those skeletal remains in this remote area near Lake Lemon. Now investigators are hoping this new technology will help them figure out who killed him and how he ended up here. Investigators say by the time this man was found, only his torso and skull were left. He had two bullet holes in the back of his head. An anthropology team estimated he was older than 55 and had been in the woods for more than a year. At the scene, there was very little evidence. Um, you know, no identification, no wallet, nothing of that nature. Detective Alex Hahn at the Monroe County Sheriff's Office said he's exhausted all the traditional investigative means. Based on the man's skull, they were able to come up with a sketch of what he likely looks like, as well as a clay model. Nearly 20 years later, nothing. And then when I got in, I, I saw this case and thought, you know, well, we have the skeletal remains, he's unidentified. Certainly there's something we can do. Then he got the idea to use genealogical DNA. It's the same technology used to identify the Golden State Killer and most recently the I-65 Killer. Scientists take a DNA sample and run it through public DNA databases and try to find family members of a killer, or in this case, a victim. It doesn't have to be a 100% match. It can just be a very, very small portion. And then this leads to the identity of that individual that shared this profile. It need to be this guy's son or his dad. I mean, third cousin, and then work from there. Detective Hahn hopes he can finally uncover this man's identity and then start to figure out who killed him. It'll be extremely difficult, yes, but it's something we have to try, you know. I mean, this, this man deserves to be known. His name deserves to be known. Detective Hahn says once those samples are sent off, it's going to take several months to get the results back. As always, anyone who has any information on this case is urged to give the Monroe County Sheriff's Office a call. In Monroe County, I'm Max Lewis. Fox 59 News.